Michael, when businesses are looking to digitally transform, what's, in your view, one thing that they really mustn't lose sight of? Paul, that's a very good question, of course. Um, I think the most important thing is value. Um, create value for your stakeholders, for your employees, for your shareholders, but of course for your end clients as well. And you know, digital transformation is all about value. So don't transform if you are not creating any value. I think this is something business always needs to take care of and have in mind and have you know, the great piece, the vision in mind, um, what you want to achieve and end of the day, you need to create value. Don't transform just because you want to transform. From a, from a cultural perspective, what sort of culture needs to be in place within an organization to help with the, the transformation? I guess that's a classical change organization, maybe a little bit modernized, but end of the day you have to accept that you try and error, you have to accept failures, you have to have a failure culture. Of course you need to have a risk minimized strategy on that, but end of the day you need to be very iterative, you need to keep the good old things, um, but you need to innovate on the other side as well. And, you know, be open, listen. I guess that's very important. We are still humans, despite all AI. Um, we need a listening culture there, and then I guess yeah. um, the base for a digital transformation is set culturally wise. Yeah, so people talk about failing quick. Yeah. What does failing quick mean to you? Failing quick means that somebody, sometimes I try out, and does it create the value I intended to do? Mm -hmm. If I don't see the value from an end client, then I must improve. Or worst case, maybe I stop a development. And that's exactly having the braveness to accept the failure mm -hmm. and even more being brave as a management to stop 